So what recipe have you got for us today, Mark? Right, we've got a classic British recipe. Not, I thought it was Scottish, actually, with that accent before. <laughs> yeah, I don't so, know what toad in the hole. If you don't know what toad in the hole is, basically it's sausages encased in a Yorkshire pudding. Ooh, right. I mean, does it get better than that? And right. we've got some onion gravy, and we're going to do some mashed potato with it as well. <laughs> right, you leave all the greens in the house to get rid yeah, of the mosquitoes need, yeah, or we something. Don't, we don't need greens with this. <laughs> no, no greens with this classic. <laughs> OK, now it's going to be tasty, I'm sure, and we will see how you make this a little later on. Great to have you with us. We are in the Beko Kitchen, and Mark, this is an English classic, Toad in the Hole. Do you know where this originated from? England. England. <laughs> <laughs> Wind in the Willows? I don't know. I think that was everybody here, Toad in the Hole. Uh, anyway, uh, what do we need to do first? Because I see you've got some taties. Right, I've got the taties them. cooking, yep. so they're all cooked, so I'm going to yep. show you how to make awesome mashed potato in the next segment. Yeah. Uh, what we need to do first is just brown the sausages. So okay. we've got a pan on here, so we've got some lard in there. Some lard? Yeah. yeah. Nice. I haven't right. seen that for a while. <laughs> I mean, you, you know, you can use whatever you want. You can use a bit of oil if you wanted, or um, duck fat is particularly nice oh, in there in a recipe like this. Uh, and then we've got some pork sausages, so just use some really nice sausages in there. OK, uh, how hot do you have to have the pan so you don't explode the sausages? Well, a good pork sausage shouldn't explode. OK, good. Mm. OK, nice. But then have a medium heat as well. All right. <laughs> <laughs> right, so you can start browning those in there. OK, good. So we are going to cook this in the oven, so we're not cooking the sausages Ah, uh, OK, cool, sweet. You know, so you can use a sort of like, you know, a good medium heat in there and you just get a nice colour on all, all the um, sides. So I've gone for a Cumberland sausage, so a bit more texture than uh, just like a normal pork sausage. Okay, nice. Yeah. Geez, things have come a long way. I can remember when I was growing up in Southland and Gore uh, that we used to have did a pot. Did you get toad of... in the hole there? Well, you know, we did toad in the hole there, yeah. And we, uh, but we used to have a pot of dripping that sat on the on oh. the bench, <laughs> and you know, we'd just keep using it for about a month, <laughs> and then we'd replace it. It just meant that everything was deep fried. Things have changed a lot, haven't we? We've learned. <laughs> Yeah, things don't taste as good at <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, nothing's got any flavour anymore. Right, okay. so I've got some flour in there, so important, sieve your flour. And then I've got an egg in there, and I'm going to start working that in. Yeah. And then I've got some milk as well. I'm going to slowly add the milk. What Actually, can you, you can pour the milk in, in the jug here. Oh, ah, yeah, cool. What you can go to... wrong with this? All uh, sorts. Well, yeah, just gradually, gradually sort of bit, uh, bring it in. OK. Just... Yeah, you can, you can go a little bit more, oh, yeah, just don't sure. dump the whole thing in. And then basically we're just going to loosen it up. So you just want to get a nice smooth batter. Yeah, stop, oh, yeah. stop. Cool. So just going to keep whisking it. You know, there's a little tip as well, you know, you want to really sort of feed it in, do it nice and slow so you don't get any lumps. Yeah. And then just for some extra safety, because sometimes, you, you know, you've got a few lumps in there and you don't see it. Mm -hmm. um, just sieve it. Oh, yeah. Sieve okay. it, yeah. And it's always a good idea to make this ahead, uh, make this a couple of hours ahead, pop it in the fridge or just leave it out, let the batter rest. Nice. And then you'll get a bit more rise on it. Nice just way. be a bit more uh, fluffy. It. Right, you can put the rest of the milk in now. It's good looking batter. You're yeah. right. I sieved some avocados the other day, so my guacamole was just lump free. <laughs> I just thought oh. I'd throw that in there. Oh, I don't know why. <laughs> there's no place for avocados <laughs> yeah. in this recipe. <laughs> and then there's a little, it's got a little splash of water in it just to loosen it up. Or you can use a little bit more milk if you want. Okay, great. Well, you sort of want a nice, um, a nice, sort of a loose batter so it will rise well. Okay. Why, why are we using pork sausages? Can we use any sausage? Well, because that's what toad in the hole is. is that yeah, yeah. Okay, good. Okay. No, that's good. Well, I mean, yeah, I mean, if you want, you can use any sausage you want. But um, just just know it's not going to be as good. Okay, great. <laughs> if you're going to make toad in the hole, make it this way. And the recipe we always put online, thecafe.co.nz. So we've got some onion going now. Yeah, so we've got, um, so there is quite a lot of fat in here, as you see, and you're getting, mm. more, you're getting more and more fat coming out of the sausages. Yeah. So if we just flip them around, get the nice side up. Yeah. Or a nice colour side up. Like we that. want that fat in there as well, and I'm going to start warming this pan up so we get really, really sort of like hot fat now. Oh, OK. And then we're going to pour the batter straight in the pan, you know. You could transfer it as well to another um, container if you want, or an oven tray, but just make sure your tray is really hot and okay. the fat is really hot. And your batter's rested, and then you can add it, so the cold batter onto the hot fat, into a hot oven about 220 degrees. And then phew, magic happens. Wow, OK, I'm pleased you're here. <laughs> I'm a little lost. Are you going to pour that in there? Yeah, yeah, so basically, yeah. So after all that, you're just going to pour it all in there. Okay. So we've got hot fat in there. We've got the sausages. Yes. Arrange them around a bit. And then you just pull the batter straight on. OK. Pour it all in there. Yeah. You can see it's all bubbling. And then you just want to run that to the oven. 
Bang it in a hot oven, 20 minutes, 25 minutes. Rise up, go golden brown, soggy in the middle, full of sausages. Sounds awful, doesn't it? Well, no, New Zealand's just... going, what is No, it, it actually about? sounds delicious. It's brilliant, though. <laughs> I can't wait to try this a little <laughs> later on. Right, we are back in the Beko kitchen. The toad in the hole has been a revelation for me. I think what I've been served <laughs> has never been actually toad in the hole. The Popa way. Uh, so... <laughs> You, you need to go to the UK, mate. It's great. Yeah. There's this one place in the UK, and everything you order on the menu comes in a giant, like, Yorkshire pudding. And it's all inside with, like, gravy on top, so you can eat oh. the whole dish, and then you, you get this giant Yorkshire pudding. It's great. Yeah, I'm OK. It will take me there. Right, uh, what are you doing now? Because right, the, the sausages are in the oven. Yeah, sausages are in the oven, so we've got to work fast now. Okay. So we just boiled some potatoes, lightly salted water, drained them off, steam dried them, and now Mike's going to uh, crush them. Nice, thanks. You can't have Yorkshire, uh, well you can't have toad in the hole and Yorkshire pudding in that fact without, without gravy, mm, yeah. onion gravy. Yum. So we've got some onions, sliced onions in here, we're just going to caramelise them down a bit and make a quick uh, onion gravy and then once, once you've mashed the potato I'm going to show you how to make the best um, mashed potato. The best mashed potato? Yes, yes. Okay. Is it labour intensive or is it easy? No, it's good. It's, okay. It's it, you just gotta you just gotta um, cook the potatoes. Just make sure you steam them so you've yeah. got no excess liquid in there. Okay. And then just really get them nice and smooth. Yep. Like what you're doing now. Mm -hmm. And then it's just a uh, just it's quite simple. It's just a few ingredients in there. Okay, good. The secrets are all coming out here today on the cafe. All this right. This is good. So. A little bit of cream. Oh, there you so, go. So, put some cream in a hot pan. Yeah. Whew, that's hot. <laughs> uh, but we want that because we want to start reducing the cream down a bit. So, we're okay. going to intensify this mashed potato and make it yep. really rich and creamy. Yum. So, the cream's reducing down a bit. And then we're going to mix in our past potato. And the cream's going to act like it's a little safety belt because we're going to add some a little bit of butter into the potato. Um, but just that cream in there is just going to help us um, add more butter without it splitting. Okay, nice. So no right. one said this was healthy today. No, no, it was tasty. Know, we, yesterday was healthy. That's right. <laughs> so, we did so we're allowed. To... All right, so that's fine. That's fine. So we'll add a bit of this potato into here. Okay. And then you sort of just want to. Just sort of work it in. You can see that cream's reducing now. Yeah. So that gives us a great flavour as well. So you can beat it in with a spoon or a whisk, whatever's easiest. And this is what I do to my scrambled eggs since we're using more glazed cream. Oh, so it's delicious. great. I mean, you know, there's only a little bit of cream in there, so it's not too bad, you know. Oh. So you can see it's getting nice and smooth. Yeah, it looks good. And now, some butter. Okay. Right, so you just want, ideally, you want some nice cold diced cubes of butter from yep. the fridge. And then you're going to whisk it in. So just imagine you're making a mayonnaise. So just okay. little bit by little bit. Right. You know, and then that's just going to loosen and flavour that mashed potato. And you don't need to make a lot of this because it is, you know, rich. <laughs> yeah, it's quite rich, and there's probably a few calories in there. But you know, a little bit on the side is quite nice. And okay. you know, toad in the hole once a year is pretty good. Mm. So look at that. You can see that the can... potato just loosening up. It's sort of getting that yellowy. Buttery tinge in it, you know. <laughs> that's what you want, you know. You've got to live once in a while. A little bit of seasoning. Yeah, a little bit of salt and pepper. I love pepper in mashed potato. It's great. You know, you can stop there if you want, or you can add more butter in. It's entirely okay. up to you. But we'll stop there. So I'm just going to caramelise these off a little bit more. Yes. And then I've got a little bit of brandy, or you could use red wine just to deglaze. A little bit of stock, and just slowly cook it down. And uh, just to finish. With that because it's a British recipe, yes. Endo's relish. Okay, cool. Or you can use Worcestershire sauce. All our uh, UK viewers, well, not our UK viewers, but the people that are living in New Zealand are originally from the UK, UK viewers, because um, we're international, this show, <laughs> <laughs> on the net. Uh, they'll be like, oh, yeah, Mark, you hit the nail right on the head. But only people out of Sheffield know this. Really? <laughs> it smells good. Holly will know this. Holly, do you know this, Holly? Holly knows it, she knows it. Nice work. Okay, cool. Well, I'll tell you what, we'll see the finished product very soon. Good oh, work. I'm excited. I'm looking forward to that, so I'm excited <laughs> too. Are you toad in the hole? Oh, look at this. Look at that. Oh, Mark, oh, out oh, yourself. Oh. That's proper, that is. <laughs> I think you'll have a taste of weird, eh?